Hello, I'm Miss Ginsburg with No Adam, and today we're going to be reading Weather Forecasting. The weather is always changing. Spring, and the weather changes. Today, there are heavy black clouds and it is chilly. It begins to sprinkle rain. Umbrellas are opening. During the day at the weather station, two weather forecasters and a meteorologist are on duty. At night, there is one forecaster. Weather conditions are updated around the clock. Now it's raining. One of the forecasters has gone outside. He takes readings of the instruments and checks sky conditions and visibility. He does this once every hour. Back in the station, he checks the readings on the observation console. Some of the gouges are connected to some of the outside instruments. They cross check figures he has already gathered. This forecaster is interested in what the weather is at the moment. He is called the immediate weather forecaster. There are thousands of weather stations and each one reports to the nearest central weather office. When the immediate weather forecaster has all of the hourly statistics, he sends them by computer to his central office. Now, weather stations around the world can use the information. The weather station has a broadcasting system. Every hour, the immediate weather forecaster records his information on tape and slides the tape into a slot. The tape runs continuously as a weather update to weather radio receivers and to radio and television stations. A recording is also made for people who call the National Weather Service for information. So here the forecast is saying, cloudy and rainy, 36 degrees, with winds at 10 miles per hour. The other weather forecaster is concerned with the long range or extended forecast. She gathers information to predict the weather for tonight, tomorrow, and the following day. A storm area appears on the screens. That means it will rain locally for quite some time. A higher pressure system is about one day away. This will bring cooler weather and sunshine. The forecaster checks with the central weather office to see if its predictions match hers. Now she writes her extended forecast and types it into the computer. She does this every six hours so that the other weather stations will have an up-to-date extended forecast for the area. She also records the forecast for broadcasting. So here the forecaster is saying, cloudy tonight with a chance of showers, lows, in the 30s. Information comes in on the computer. Or torna a tornado has touched down in the Midwest. There is some damage. Locally, it continues to rain hard. The immediate weather forecaster goes outside to take the hourly readings. Summer and the weather changes. Today, almost everyone is at the beach. It is a very hot and sunny day. Outside the weather station, the hourly readings are taken. Visibility is clear and the clouds are white and puffy in the sky. They are cumulus or fair weathered clouds. Clouds are weather indicators. The weather forecasters study them all the time. Cirrus clouds, 
means fair weather. Cumulonimbus clouds mean thunderstorms. Nimbostratus clouds mean fog, rain, or snow for a long time. Stratus clouds mean gray skies. Sometimes it will rain or snow. Altostratus clouds mean rain or snow. Surostratus clouds mean a change in the weather. One of the forecasters and the meteorologist watch the weather map. A cold front is moving into the area. It will push away the hot air. Along the cold front are thunderstorms. Again, the immediate weather forecast is put together. It is read into the microphone. Then the extended forecast is taped. So the immediate forecast is hot and sunny today. 89 degrees with winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then the extended forecast. Tonight will be clear, lows in the 60s, followed by thunderstorms for tomorrow. A call comes in. A pilot wants to know what the weather conditions will be like during his flight tomorrow. It will be rainy then clearing when you get near New York. Fall and the weather changes. Leaves blow in the wind. Smoke curls from chimneys. Everyone is dressed in warm clothes. The weather forecasters watch the radar monitor. To the south, a hurricane is building in strength. It's moving to the north, toward their area. They constantly check its position. At the same time, they update their local weather conditions. Over at the Central Weather Office, a weather balloon is released. Certain weather offices are assigned to do this twice a day. As the balloon climbs higher, it signals back to the office changes in temperature, air pressure, and humidity. The information will be available on computer to all weather stations. Hours later, the forecasters broadcast that the hurricane has changed direction and is going out to sea. If it had stayed on course, they would have broadcast hurricane warnings. The updates are done again. Low, dark clouds hurry by. Instruments are read and information is checked on the temperature, on the computers. The updated forecasts are put together. Cloudy and windy today, the temperature is 47 degrees with winds at 20 miles per hour. It looks like mild and sunny weather for the next two days. A high pressure system will move into the area. It will push away the damp and windy weather. Here the forecaster is saying, tomorrow will be sunny and clear. The high will be 56 degrees. Winter and the weather changes. Today, the weather began with blue skies and sun but now it is snowing hard. It is the first snowstorm of the season. Storm warnings are broadcast. The snow is drifting and visibility is poor. Very few planes are flying in and out of the airport. Some highways are closed. Snow plows are out at work. So here the forecaster saying, Weather conditions are extremely dangerous. Drive only if it's an emergency. The radar monitor shows that the storm will last through the night. The low pressure system has brought heavy, wet snow with mild temperatures. The forecasters study the monitor. Six inches of snow and still falling.
Because of the broadcasts that predicted the snowstorm, many people are prepared. Most stay indoors. Businesses close early so workers can get home. Everyone waits for the storm to clear. Back at the weather station, more information is gathered. The snow should taper off in the early morning. A high pressure system will push it away. Weather information is broadcast again. The snow will end in the early morning to be followed by clear blue skies. The weather is always changing. Wow, I learned a lot reading weather forecasting and I had a lot of fun too. I hope that you learned a lot and that you had fun also. I'll see you tomorrow with another book. Bye.